If you missed it, Sonos just updated their app in the latest software update. Now the new update promised a fully redesigned app with a more personalized experience and a new look and feel, but it's fair to say that the overall feedback hasn't been overly positive so far. Now the good news is some issues have already been resolved and we have dates for future updates now, so we're gonna cover all of that in this video. Now I just wanted to start by saying that we have been overwhelmed with feedback from you guys reaching out around the new app and asking if we've got any workarounds or updates and we wanted to say that a lot of us here at Smart Home Sounds, myself included, are Sonos users and we've also felt your frustrations over the new app launch. So what we wanted to do was to create a quick video to just cover the key things to know about the app, share some more recent updates from Sonos in case you guys have missed any of them, as well as some workarounds and some time frames just to keep you all up to date and in the loop. Now, please, as always, feel free to use the comment section below to also share any tips and advice. And of course, we will be feeding all of this back to Sonos, so please do make sure you share your thoughts below. So for those unaware, Sonos's new app, which looks like this, is said by Sonos to be redesigned and better than ever. Now it has been designed to give quicker access to content with a new home screen, quicker access to search, and provide a clearer view of your system. Now they also launched a new desktop app, which lets you control your system from a tablet, laptop, or desktop. However, since the update, a lot of us have found things that were missing in the new version of the app that did used to be there in the old version, and Sonos have gone on to say that there are areas where they fell short. Now the key things that were missing included alarm management with some people who had alarms set prior to updating now unable to turn them off, sleep timers are missing, queue management is missing and playlist editing is also not currently there. Now the app was also not working for those who use voiceover on iPhone. Now following on from the torrent of feedback topics, Sonos's words, they have shared a number of updates in their forum and held an AMA earlier this week to discuss all of the feedback following the new app launching. Now there's a lot of information out there, but there are some key bits that I think are really good and helpful to share with you guys. So firstly, they have said that they will be reintroducing features as well as carrying out bug fixes and performance updates. So things aren't gone for good. Now they have already brought back the ability to add and edit alarms. So it's good that they've acted quickly on that one. And that's great, especially for those who couldn't turn alarms off. Now apparently alarm editing was never meant to go and it was an issue on the day of the app update going live. But either way, to bring back the ability to edit alarms, you will need to update both your Sonos system and the Sonos app, and then they should appear here. They have also fixed voiceover on iOS, so you can interact with individual elements of the Sonos app's home screen, and they've shared that additional improvements to screen reader for visually impaired customers will be coming on the 21st of May. For any tablet users out there, Sonos have shared that they recognize that we have a ways to go to improve this tablet layout full stop. Now they had no timings to share yet, but they will be improving the display and UI. In the coming soon list, Add into queue and play next will be coming back early June. Sleep timers, snooze alarms will be mid June, as well as local music library search and playback and update Wi Fi settings all come in mid June. Now, it has also been noticed that you can only see the specific volume numbers when you look in the grouping menu, but they aren't visible elsewhere like they used to be. Now, Sonos stated that this will be coming back soon, but we've not got a specific date for that yet. Now, there was some feedback around the local music library, but Sonos have stated that it is not going anywhere despite. SMBV1 support being permanently removed. And they have also shared that they are currently working on local music library searching. Okay, so what else then? Well, some of you guys have noted that you no longer have access to Quick EQ. Now, my guess with this one is that most people edit the EQ when setting up a speaker or after running TruePlay. So I would imagine that the data showed that it was something that could be left in the settings. Now, I've not seen anything from Sonos yet on whether that's something that they plan to bring back. But personally, I think this is a good move for how often I would use my EQ. There are other smaller things that we've noticed that are missing. So for example, you can add a song to your Spotify playlist when you're within the Sonos app, which you did used to be able to do. So hopefully things like this come back with one of the future updates. Now looking at all of this, for me it's disappointing that they've taken features away, albeit temporarily, from customers who might have purchased products because of those features. Especially when you don't make it clear that this will be gone if you choose to update and you can't roll back to the previous iteration of the app. Now Sonos have acknowledged this and they've stated that what we learned this past week is that we should have communicated more openly with you about the changes that may impact you. Over the coming weeks and months, we seek to fix the issues that you've surfaced and earn back your trust, which is positive for us Sonos users moving forward and I hope that this is the case. Now in spite of the frustrations, we do prefer to be glass half full where possible and there are elements of the new app that we do like. And for a bit of positive news, they've also just added support for lossless Apple Music in another update. Now as always, change does 
take time to get used to. But once the issues are fixed and we have all of the capabilities back, I do think that the new homepage and other areas of the redesign will give a better user experience. Now it's clear that the app wasn't fully ready to launch, though it's a positive that updates have already been released, such as bringing back alarms. And we now have a time frame for the rest to be added. So we do know how long we're gonna have to wait. For those who haven't updated yet, consider the current missing elements of the app and whether you're happy to forego those for the new app or would rather wait for a few months to run the update. Now, as always, we'll try to keep you guys updated as and when we get any feedback from Sonos, but hopefully this video has been helpful in catching you up with where we're at and the latest updates from the brand if you missed any of them. Thank you guys very much for watching this one and I'll catch you all in the next video.